five, four, three, two, one. seconds in the flight. Everything continues to be nominal with Starship. We're just passing through three kilometer altitude. Next major vent is shutdown of engine number three. two minutes, flight continuing on Starship. As a reminder, this is a test flight to a 10 kilometer altitude. Engine number three shut down on time as planned. We're continuing to climb on two engines. Everything continues to go well with Starship. Good engine performance so far. T plus three minutes, 20 seconds. We've shut down engine two on time. You saw that on the screen just a few seconds ago. Starship now climbing on the power of engine number one, headed to the 10 kilometer altitude. T plus four minutes. Vehicle is at 10 kilometers. It's apogee, it is at apogee. We're continuing to throttle down engine number one to hold altitude. We're preparing for handover on the propellant tank. Four and a half minutes, we are handing off to the LOX tank. We are beginning to flip to horizontal. In the white cloud, the plume you were seeing was intentional. That is a liquid oxygen dump. We've now transitioned to horizontal and beginning the subsonic test portion of the flight where we check out the aft and the forward flaps to hold the vehicle stability as we descend back to the landing pad.
plus five and a half minutes, Starship continuing the subsonic descent using the forward and aft flaps to control its attitude as we come back down to the landing pad. Everything continuing to go well in this portion of flight. Land intro. Six minutes, ten seconds into flight, we're down beneath one and a half kilometers. We're preparing to restart two engines, flip the vehicle vertical, then transition to one engine for the landing burn. Get cameras up. Rolling to anomaly net and opening 3.911 at this time. We will start sweeping for fires. Well, as you can see from the uh, scene, we had again another great flight up to the 10 kilometer apogee. We demonstrated the ability to transition the engines to the landing propellant tanks. The subsonic re-entry looked very good and stable like we saw again last December, so we've got a lot of good data on flap control. And again, we've just got to work on that landing a little bit, but we'll find out uh, from the team as they go through the data. We were in contact with telemetry all the way down. So all told, another great, and a reminder, this is a test flight, second time we've flown Starship in this configuration. We've got a lot of good data and the primary objective to demonstrate control of the vehicle in the subsonic reentry uh, look to be very good and we will take a lot out of that. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's webcast. Thanks for logging on and watching and we'll be back with another Starship in the near future.